Taking the next step, but I, I think that the fans, generally the fans out there, don't realize how difficult that really is. Yeah. It's a, it's a whole new ball game. But it seems like you're setting yourself up for that, and that's what I hope to see. I mean, it's, and and I think but the we, fans we, too. The, he's captured the fans' imagination. Obviously, my hands are are somewhat dormant right now. So uh, we we're really hard, and we have the infrastructure. We have some excellent people that have experience at that level. You know, the, the key component we're missing now is funding, and, and who knows? If that happens, we'd, we'd love to take a shot at it again. So you feel like that the, the Indianapolis 500 and what Alex has done so far and the attention that he's brought uh, to Sam Schmidt Motorsports, that you feel like that can help? I mean, there are a lot of sponsors out there right now. Let's face it, the global economy, mm -hmm. it's tough. Mm -hmm. But it's, you know, it, it appears to me that... Uh, integrated systems of being able to activate those sponsorships are what a lot of the companies mm -hmm. haven't, they're, they're just on the edge of being able to grasp. And, and it appears as if you guys, uh, I mean, uh, Pink Lloyd, or uh, I'm sorry, Pink Lloyd. Pink com. Lloyd, yeah, yeah. Pink Lloyd .com, yes. I'm at the airport, uh, yeah. landing in the airport, and we've got people behind us talking about Pink Lloyd. There you go. And, uh, you know, and the, that brings a lot of attention. And yeah. that with that attention comes the ability for uh, people to obtain sponsorship. And I know it's tough, but it's uh, the series has got some depth in it this year, mm -hmm. more than I've seen in the past uh, yeah. number of years, because I was around in the, when the split took place, and I know those were lean, yeah. tough years. But no, uh, no, Certainly with the consolidation, you know, we dealt with 12 years of yeah. the A number one excuse from sponsors being, when are you going to get back together? Well, that excuse is gone. It hasn't necessarily meant the floodgates of, of sponsorship have opened up, but at the same time, that's, that's one less excuse. And I do feel like uh, the IndyCar series is a good platform. Um, you know, everybody compares us to NASCAR when you're talking about sponsorship, and, and NASCAR has gotten very expensive. And uh, uh, there's a limited number of companies that can afford to spend $20 million on, you know, uh, Jeff Gordon or Dale Earnhardt's entry. Mm -hmm. So... Uh, no, IndyCar has become it, a deal. It, now, now IndyCar it's is a, a bargain, deal. and it, it never was before. And uh, I think we need to emphasize the hospitality. We need to emphasize the access to the drivers. And guys like Alex Lord will, will uh, Pink Lloyd will go to the end of the earth to you know for their sponsors to make them happy. And I think that's something you probably don't get um, with the taxi cabs. So. No, I, the taxi cabs. <laughs> Brian I, will love yeah. you for that. No, I just say that because uh, actually I'm, I'm, I'm good a, friends with Tony. I mean, I've raced against Tony and a number of people over there. And I, uh, I, I talk a lot about the comparison and a lot of, obviously a lot of fans that come to our events are, are, are NASCAR fans. I got nothing against that. I mean, gear it just happened to be 50 head. miles an hour slower everywhere we go. That's oh, all. Yeah. <laughs> Still racing. A gear has a gearhead. I mean, that's yeah. the way I look at it. If Four you love motorsports, you love motorsports, whether it's MotoGP or whether even Those bikes. guys are insane. That <laughs> is, the, uh, people have often yeah. said, you know, the definition of insanity is to do the same thing over and over and expect a different, different result. results. No, it's MotoGP if you watch Moto Valentino GP. Rossi and those guys. No, thanks. I mean, that's just out of sight. Yeah, that, that, that one's a little bit beyond me as well. Quarter inch of rubber. No, uh, thanks. It's, it's a little bit, little bit on the yeah. scary side. I wish you the very, very best of luck. Uh, no, I appreciate it. Uh, one thing certainly fun. feeds off the other. I mean, I, I, uh, I didn't really want to be a team owner, and it's certainly not as good as being a driver. And now I realize what all I those team it. owners went through. You know, <laughs> driving is certainly a luxury, and uh, I would have liked to do that a little while longer. But you know, owning is the second best thing. I mean, I, I get to interact with with some great drivers and, and try to help sure. and encourage and nurture their careers. And uh, at the same time, like you said, it it really feeds. Uh, the foundation and uh, allows us to tap into Firestone and Honda and, and all those big purses from a foundation standpoint. And uh, it keeps me busy. I mean, you know, when you, uh, when you get married and you spend 250 days on the year and all of a sudden that stops, sure. it didn't take long for my wife to say, you need to find something to do and uh, get out of the house. But uh, it takes us, you know, it takes me and, and people like me, you know, two and a half hours to get up every morning. Sure. Okay? You have to find out something, find something that you're really passionate about doing um, to make it worthwhile. And that, you know, that for me is the racing uh, venue and community. And, and, and I must say thanks to the George family and the Indianapolis Motor Speedway Indy Racing League because Absolutely. they've got the finest insurance program in the world. 
they, uh, you know, were right there. The whole community was right there. And this event is, uh, is an example of that for, you know, 10 years, 500 people plus, and it's, uh, it's a big social event every May, and they keep supporting us, and I think that's because of the, you know, the community that it is. Mm -hmm.